For this assignment, I chose to feature children's author Kelly DiPuccio. Kelly has an active website available. It provides a list of books. It provides contact information. There is a bio about Kelly stating that she lives in Detroit, Michigan, among other personal information. The vis visits section shares information about potential author visits. It states that Kelly loves to share her books with children and adults. She is available for school, library, and writing conference presentations. All of her programs are fun and interactive and can be tailored to meet your particular needs. The news section provides current information about upcoming books, school or library visits, book signings, and other information that her fans may enjoy. Under books, these six are shown. New copies of these old favorites are no longer being printed, but you can still check them out from your local library and purchase them from used booksellers. Also under books, there are 19 of Kelly's books listed. One thing interesting about this author's books is that for the 29 total that she has written, there are 24 different illustrators. There are five sets of books that could be considered sequels as they have the same characters, and these pairs do have the same illustrators. Zombies in Love and Zombies in Love 2 Plus 1, Crafty Chloe and Crafty Chloe Dress Up Mess Up, Gaston and Antoinette, Everyone Loves Bacon and Everyone Loves Cupcakes, and Super Manny Stands Up and Super Manny Cleans Up. These are her four newest books. Ho Won't Go was just released on October 16th. We're Going on a Treasure Hunt will be released next April. Many of her books have won awards. Grace for President and The Sandwich Swap were on the North New York Times bestseller list. As you can see, many of her books have been chosen as starred reviews by Publishers Weekly, Kirkus Reviews, Booklist, and Hornbook magazines. The Sandwich Swap, which Kelly co-wrote with Queen Rania of Jordan Al Abdullah, was chosen for the Parents' Choice Award. Kelly has also been cho chosen for several state-specific nominations and awards. That is how I became familiar with Kelly DiPuccio. I started working in the library in the summer of 2013. The following summer, I went to the Norfolk Literature, Literature Festival in Norfolk, Nebraska, where Kelly was a speaker. It was such an exciting event. Kelly's book, Crafty Chloe, had been nominated for the Golden Sower Award, which is for the state of Nebraska. The book ended up as runner-up or honor book for the picture book category. As you can see, Gaston was the winner for the 2017 Golden Sower Award, and Dragon Was Terrible is a nominee for next year. Kelly DiPuccio recently attended the Plum Creek Literacy Festival at Concordia University in Seward, Nebraska. I was unable to attend this year because it coincided with the Nebraska Library Association Conference. However, my daughter, who is also my coworker, attended with my granddaughter. It is always fun to have autographed books in the library. These books are Everyone Loves Bacon, and everyone loves cupcakes. They are so cute and special. Here are some pictures from the Plum Creek Literacy Festival. In addition to admiring Kelly's talent as a children's author, she is a terrific speaker and a lovely person. She borrowed this picture from my daughter's Facebook page. She is a huge inspiration to my granddaughter, Jocelyn, who is an aspiring author. Jocelyn is the mini-me in this picture.